गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन प्लीज कम टू दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एडवांस कैपिटल बजटिंग दिस टॉपिक इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट टॉपिक विच यू हैव स्टडीड दैट इज कैपिटल बजटिंग आई होप यू रिमेंबर सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू अगेन डिस्कस दो बेसिक कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एन पी वी आई आर आर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स डिस्काउंटेड पे बैक पीरियड ओके वी अज्यूम दैट दैट यू नो बेसिक कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एन पी वी आई आर आर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इंडेक्स डिस्काउंटेड पे बैक पीरियड मॉडिफाइड आई आर आर इक्वेलेंट एनवलाइज कॉस्ट और इक्वेलेंट एनवलाइज बेनिफिट अप्रोच I hope you have studied that. Yes or no? Say yes. Have you studied all those basic calculations? Very good. So here we go with the advanced capital budgeting decisions. Advanced capital budgeting decision. First, we'll just discuss some basic thing again before we start with the numerical question. capital budgeting problem we have assumed in the intermediate level that there is no risk involved we have pro proposed projected cash flows we have projected discount rate and we have assumed that investment proposal do not involve much risk is it right remember what you have done you have assumed cash flow for next 10 years in intermediate 10 year some problem 15 year and you have assumed that this cash flow will be actually realized oh my god that is not true that is not true therefore in this chapter we are going to introduce risk uncertainty inflation and how they can uh, affect the project these assumptions made in intermediate level were for simplification purpose were to simplify your calculation simplify basic understanding but now we have to take into consideration real life situation in real life situation whatever assumptions we make they will change because either there can be inflation there can be change in technology there can be change in government policy there can be change in competition there can be substitute product available taste fashion custom can change and that may affect all your projections first today we are going to discuss the role of inflation in capital budgeting inflation affects capital budgeting because all your future cash flows which you project today can get affected let us revise intermediate what you have done you have computed cfat and the same cfat you have used for decision making but dear student you have made a grave mistake what is that you have not taken into consideration the fact that in future there would be inflation so sales revenue which you are projecting as 100 rupees for 5 years is actually not correct there may be inflation you may charge 10% more every year so this figures which you have projected may not be correct more important cost cost comprise of material labor overhead cost comprise of material labor and overhead now you see you have taken some fixed material cost that you assume it will be 50 but do you think material cost will be 50 there is so much of inflation there is so much of inflation that what projection you are making is not true then what do i do i have to incorporate inflation in decision making i have to incorporate inflation in decision making 
otherwise the project which seemed viable at the beginning will not be viable at the when we start the project and you might end up making losses therefore it is very very important to incorporate the effect of inflation in capital budgeting inflation erodes the purchasing power of money over a period of time that is what they teach in economics classes inflation means reduction in purchasing power you cannot buy the same basket of goods and service which you have bought earlier the finance manager has to keep in mind the impact of inflation he has to reorient various financial policies according to the fast changing circumstances so inflation would affect my decisions on dividend payout capital restructuring depreciation policy profit planning working capital tax planning these are just few examples where inflation can impact financial decision making the question on inflation are usually very easy so far that is the trend in the exam before we go to the question answer session i would first tell you some basic concepts relating to inflation once you are familiar with this basic concept relating to inflation the term that they use in the question it will be very easy for you to solve questions on inflation is it right are you ready if you are ready then inform me then i will go ahead first concept we will learn important term number 1 nominal or monetary or out of pocket cash flow nominal or monetary or out of pocket cash flow means these are cash flows including inflation these are cash flows which are including inflation what does that mean let us say you go to buy a pizza today after the class go to buy a pizza or those who are in south india let us say you go to buy dosa okay you pay a price for that how much you pay you pay 250 rupees for example what is this 250 rupees is it nominal cash flow or is it real cash flow nominal cash flow means based on today's purchasing power is it nominal or real please reply is it rep, uh, nominal or nominal cash flow yes amount paid today is always nominal cash flow is it right suppose you go and buy iphone today you want to purchase iphone 15 pro today can anybody tell me how much they are going to charge how much is that iphone 15 pro let us say 1 lakh 50000 this amount that you will be paying today is the nominal cash flow also called monetary cash flow also called out of pocket cash flow so in the exam if these three terms are given either of the three terms please understand they have given you nominal cash flow it is including inflation it takes into account the inflation of the current year up to the date that is monetary cash flow it is based on current purchasing power in economics they use a term called current purchasing power second concept is real cash flow real cash flow means cash flows excluding inflation if inflation would not have been there now this is a hypothetical calculation if there was no inflation how much would be the cash flow if there was no inflation it is based on current uh, constant purchasing power based on constant purchasing power so same example a pizza cost you 250 rupees in the current year in the current year inflation is 10% quickly reply if there was no inflation 
had there been no inflation then what would be the amount you would have paid for this pizza please reply take your calculator keep ready amount paid without inflation if no inflation was there if no inflation was there 250 divided by 1.10 yes what is the answer today i don't have calculator please reply what is the answer for this just check 227.27 227.27 this would have been the amount you would have paid if there was no inflation so how did i convert how did i convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow so here the word real means excluding inflation real cash flow will be equal to nominal cash flow divided by inflation was 10% so inflation rate inflation rate first to understand the concept and if the gap is one year to the power one if the gap was two year then the power will be two so this is a formula which is very simple i gave you some example just now to demonstrate how to convert nominal cash flow into its equivalent real cash flow third is nominal or money discount rate nominal or money discount rate means the discount rate includes the future inflation also discount rate is including inflation discount rate is inclusive of inflation so don't add inflation again if the problem says nominal or money discount rate is 10 percent it means they have considered future inflation in that required rate of return real discount rate rdr it means discount rate excludes future inflation discount rate excludes future inflation so once again i repeat four things nominal cash flow includes inflation real cash flow does not include inflation real cash flow is at constant purchasing power nominal discount rate includes inflation that means your required rate of return includes inflation premium real discount rate excludes inflation real discount rate does not include the inflation premium then the next issue will arise how to convert real cash flow into nominal cash flow nominal cash flow into real cash flow real discount rate into nominal discount rate or nominal discount rate into real discount rate so four convergence we are going to learn very simple first we are going to learn how to convert real cash flow into nominal cash flow this is important because in most of the question most of the question we have to apply this very important nominal cash flow is equal to real cash flow into 1 plus inflation rate to the power n so I am going to ask you a question, suppose today the price of t-shirt is 2500 rupees, the price of that t-shirt which you are wearing is 2500 rupees, inflation is 10% every year the price of the t-shirt is increasing by 10 percent my question is after two year after two year after two year what will be the price of the t-shirt price of the t-shirt after two year those who are learning online you should reply take your calculator if this basic question is asked price of a t-shirt today is 2500 inflation is 10 percent per annum 10 percent per annum how much this t-shirt would cost you after two years please reply if you don't reply then how do i proceed further this is for you 
not for me i have already passed and with your blessing i got rank also in final this is the time for you to get the rank 3025 is the right answer 3025 one mr bapat has given 3025 so this is inflation how did you reach this number you have taken 2500 into 1 plus 0.10 to the power 2 that is a common sense 10% 10% every year effect of inflation is cumulative effect of inflation is cumulative cumulative means understand step by step after one year this same t-shirt will cost you 2500 plus 10% which is 2750 but next year it will become 2750 plus 10% which is 3025 so the effect of inflation is cumulative the effect of inflation is cumulative hence we have to apply this formula to find nominal cash flow from real cash flow so first formula of the day you can note it down you can make a small formula book for yourself you have formula book yes or no yes you will write nominal cash flow equal to real cash flow into 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and the logic is simple presented below nothing to remember effect of inflation is cumulative reverse working also they can ask you they can ask you that suppose after 2 year reverse working suppose after 2 year the price of t-shirt will be 3200 3025 uh, inflation is 10% if there was no inflation had there been no inflation what would be the price so if there is no inflation the reverse working i have to do nominal cash flow divided by 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and you see this will be equal to 3025 divided by 1.10 to the power 2 you can remove the inflation you have removed the inflation and the answer is 2500 both formulas are just same formula presented in a different way so that is about relationship between real cash flow and nominal cash flow so i will revise quickly nominal cash flow equal to real cash flow into 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and real cash flow equal to nominal cash flow upon 1 plus inflation rate to the power n now the next concept is how to convert real discount rate into nominal discount rate or nominal discount rate into real discount rate keep the book in front of you nothing to write it's given in the notes the formula is 1 plus nominal discount rate is equal to 1 plus real discount rate into 1 plus inflation rate let us say for example real discount rate is 10% that is my discount rate does not include risk or uh, inflation premium discount rate does not include inflation premium it involves basic time value of money but it does not include risk uh, inflation premium and suppose inflation rate is 10% suppose inflation rate is 10% my question is what will be your nominal discount rate what will be your nominal discount rate generally the student will answer like this generally the student will say sir so is it 10 plus 10 20 the answer is not 20 the answer is not 20 the answer will be norm nominal discount rate equal to 1 plus real discount rate into 1 plus inflation rate minus 
and then after that you multiply by 100 to get the percentage. Who will give the answer? Who will give me the answer? Please reply. What will be the nominal discount rate in this example I have written? Anybody answer? Divya, answer please. Anup. Anybody answer? 21 percent. Okay, 21 percent is the right answer. Then some student will have a query why we have multiplied the two, why we have not simply added the two figures. So, for that let us understand one small story. Okay. Suppose you go, go to buy a cricket bat, cricket bat. For the sake of simplicity, assume that cricket bat costs 100 rupees today. Assume cricket bat costs 100 rupees today just for simplicity, otherwise it will cost you something like 5000, 10,000 if you buy a high quality English willow 40,000 also. So, cricket bat 40, 10, 100 rupees. There was an improvement in the quality. improvement in quality of the cricket bat. There was an improvement in quality of the cricket bat. Because of that, the price of cricket bat increased by 10 percent. So, it became 110. This 10 percent is not due to inflation. This 10 percent is due to improvement in quality. Maybe they have added some more feature in that cricket bat, they have used better quality glue, better quality wood, better quality that uh, handle. So, because of that, the price of that cricket bat increased by 10 percent because of uh, improvement in quality and there was inflation of 10 percent. There was inflation of 10 percent during this period. So, after one year, after one year, please reply, what will be the amount you will pay for the cricket bat? What is the amount you will pay for this cricket bat? Will you pay 120 or 121? 110 plus 10 percent you will take, 121. Now, if I compare these two, 100 was at the beginning, 121 at the end. It is not 20 increase, it is 21. 10 rupees is the increase because of improvement in quality. The inflation 10 percent is applicable on 100 also and 10 rupee improvement in quality. So, that effect of inflation is on 100 and 10, 110 rupees. Okay. Same logic is applied here also, same logic is applied here also that the effect of inflation will be on real discount rate also. Just like the effect of inflation is, so this is like real, like real discount rate 10 percent and this is inflation. So, the effect of inflation goes to the real factor also and therefore, in future we are going to take 1.10 into 1.10 minus 1. Once you have understood this formula, now you can find any missing figure. For example, reverse working question, real discount rate equal to, this is real discount rate I want from this formula or from this formula. So, I will take 1 plus nominal discount rate, this figure, I will divide by 1 plus inflation rate minus 1. So, that gives me real discount rate. Depending upon the question, you may have to shift from nominal to real or real to nominal. Below that I have written four important points, four important points please pay attention. Okay. One is all cash flows must be consistently written either in money term or in real term. 
that means all cash flow should be either real all cash flow from 0 till last year nth year it should be either written in nominal term or it should be written in real terms second nominal cash flow will be discounted using nominal discount rate to arrive at present value nominal 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 cash flow use nominal discount rate real cash flow will be discounted using real discount rate real 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 cash flow real discount rate real cash flow can be discounted using real discount rate nominal cash flow should be discounted at inflation rate to arrive at real cash flow if suppose you have to use real discount rate question gives you real discount rate but nominal cash flow first you convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow and then apply real discount rate so how do i convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow again one more time real cash flow equal to nominal cash flow upon 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and in case in case very important this point number 6 if real cash flow is given and nominal discount rate is given then you will have to first convert real cash flow into nominal cash flow how do i do it nominal cash flow equal to one more time is equal to real cash flow into 1 plus inflation rate to the power n is it right now i have given you one space for drawing diagram in your notes so please write down in your notes there is a box there space for diagram space for diagram write down in the center of the page nominal cash flow real cash flow and present value in the center of the page write down please everybody focus concentrate one of the most important topics you are dealing with in your syllabus now nominal cash flow will be discounted using nominal discount rate nominal cash flow will be discounted using nominal discount rate to arrive at present value so draw one arrow connect nominal cash flow to present value but suppose real cash flow and real discount rate has to be used convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow first by eliminating effect of inflation by eliminating effect of inflation and then use real discount rate then use real discount rate is it right so if you have to use real cash flow and real discount rate but the question gives you nominal cash flow first you will have to convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow by using the formula nominal cash flow upon one second nominal cash flow upon 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and then you can use real discount rate one more thing if real cash flow is given and nominal discount rate is given now what you will do you will convert real cash flow into nominal cash flow you will go from here to here and then you will use nominal discount rate so you will add effect of inflation in real cash flow and use nominal discount rate is it right did you like this diagram those who like this diagram will say yes okay this will help you to understand what you are supposed to do summary is nominal cash flow will be discounted using nominal discount rate real cash flow will be discounted using real discount rate now next question is you are solving questions of capital budgeting capital budgeting questions are incomplete 
without depreciation adjustment because you are going to invest in capital asset on capital asset you get depreciation question number 1 is depreciation please reply fast is depreciation a cash flow is depreciation a cash flow item is depreciation a cash flow item depreciation is not a cash flow item depreciation is a non cash flow item non cash flow then why we are discussing depreciation when it is a non cash flow item depreciation is allowed as expense under income tax law and because depreciation is allowed as expense under income tax law we have tax saving or tax shield which is equal to depreciation multiplied by tax rate which is equal to depreciation multiplied by tax rate so depreciation in itself is not a cash flow but tax saving is a cash flow this is equal to cash inflow and the amount is huge if the asset is of 100 crore if depreciation rate is 25 percent on 25 crore at 30 percent you save 7.50 tax very big amount and not one year till the life of the project so therefore depreciation is important in capital budgeting now my question is whether depreciation is subject to inflation yes whether depreciation is subject to inflation can you please reply depreciation is not subject to inflation why depreciation is not subject to inflation because depreciation is calculated as per tax laws like income tax act does income tax act allows you to increase the block of asset value because of inflation please reply little fast does depre does income tax law says okay this year inflation is high so we'll allow you more depreciation no income tax act says you will get depreciation on cost historical cost the cost that you incurred hence what is the moral of the discussion depreciation is not subject to inflation depreciation is not subject to inflation depreciation may uh, be a non cash expense but it is a tax deductible expense so it is relevant in capital budgeting but depreciation is allowed on historical cost only hence depreciation will not be subject to inflation what about taxation what about taxation tax is always calculated on nominal basis tax is always calculated on nominal basis why because government will say we will want to tax you based on your current income your current income is based on current year sale current year expense so in those questions very important if you have to calculate tax if you have to calculate tax sales will be first taken as nominal expenses will have to be taken as nominal you have no choice sales nominal minus expense nominal will give you pbt nominal pbt nominal and then you can take tax on pbt you will get nominal pat you will get nominal pat after that you have two choices after that you can convert into real pat and use real discount rate or nominal pat you can directly use nominal discount rate to arrive at present value is it right so this is how we will work 
in those questions where we have to compute taxes, all income, all expenses will be first brought on the basis of nominal cash flow because tax is calculated on nominal cash flow. That time you do not have a choice. Once you compute the nominal PAT, then you have a choice. You can either apply real, real to real or nominal to nominal concept. One more concept is type of inflation given in the question, symmetrical and non-symmetrical information inflation. Then the student will be wondering what is symmetrical and what is non-symmetrical. So, in the question it is given sales, material, labor, overhead and they have given inflation rate also, inflation rate. In some question they will say all cash flows are subject to same rate of inflation. What will you call it? Symmetrical or non-symmetrical? If all cash flows are subject to same rate of inflation, what will you call it? What will you call it? Symmetrical. This is called symmetrical inflation problem. This is easy because all cash flows are subject to same rate of inflation. Sometimes the problem can test you. Sale subject to 5 percent inflation, material 6 percent, labor 7 percent, overhead 4 percent. This type of problem is called, this type of problem is called non-symmetrical inflation problem, non-symmetrical inflation problem. So, you have to be very careful in the second type of problem. When all revenues and costs are subject to same rate of inflation, this example we will call it symmetrical. Life is easy in that case, but exam is not easy. Non-symmetrical inflation, second example. When items of revenues and cost are subject to different rates of inflation, right? Now, the question is how do we solve? How do we solve non symmetrical inflation problem? That will be little challenging. So, there is a small guideline from our side. In case of non symmetrical inflation, it is advisable to convert into the terms in which the discount rate is given. So, if discount rate is given in nominal terms, it is better to convert all cash flows into nominal terms. If discount rate is given in real term, it is better to convert all cash flows into real term, but always follow the instruction given in the question. Some problem specifically requires you to use nominal discount rate or nominal cash flow concept then you do not have a choice, then you will do whatever is the instruction in the problem. First priority always to be given to the instruction given in the question and then you can follow your own wishes. Problems in investment decision due to inflation. So, what are the challenges when we solve capital budgeting problem based on inflation? Future is uncertain who knows it better than you? Is it right? Who knows it better than you? CA student, future is uncertain. Anything can happen. Suddenly syllabus can change. Suddenly new chapters can be added. Suddenly the pattern of exam can change. Suddenly articleship provisions can change. So, future is uncertain. Hence, it is difficult to project future rate of inflation future rate of inflation we cannot predict with accuracy. Similarly, we cannot predict demand and other factors which may be affected by inflation. If, if due to inflation if the price rise, the demand can also change. In this chapter, we are not taking into consideration the fact that 
rise in price level can affect the future demand of the product because difficult to correlate the two and find out exactly by what percentage the demand can change and the third is problem with carrying out the analysis whether to express forecast cash flow in real term or nominal term. So, these are some difficulties in solving capital budgeting problem, but do not worry you are a student you will be supplied with all the data that is required to solve the problem. It is now up to you to use that data use your intelligence use your knowledge and get the answer. So, tell me are you ready for inflation based question today? Those who are ready will say yes, yes very good. So, we are starting with first question a very basic question on capital budgeting and inflation. This question was asked in RTP some years back some years back this question was there in the RTP. So, we have tried to accumulate all questions on inflation and capital budgeting which have been asked in your past exam RTP study material etcetera at one place. Now, you will get all questions of inflation. AS limited is examining an investment proposal requiring an initial outflow of rupees 8 lakh. Initial outflow is 8 lakh and expected cash inflow in real terms. When the problem setter is giving you clear information expected inflow in real terms that is today's purchasing power is rupees 2 lakh 80 thousand per year for next 4 years. The company's out of pocket out of pocket monetary cost of capital is 9 percent out of pocket monetary cost of capital is 9 percent all of you please reply please reply please participate otherwise there is no fun of learning and there is no fun in teaching is it right then it is better to record it and give it to you live session means you have to join and answer whether out of pocket monetary cost of capital is nominal discount rate or real discount rate. Whether this discount rate given to you is nominal or real nominal or real some students have replied nominal nominal is right nominal is right and inflation is expected to be 3.2 percent per annum over the next 4 year. So, basically what they have given given is cash flow in real terms 2 lakh 80 thousand, but the discount rate is nominal discount rate 9 percent inflation rate is given 9 percent sorry 3.2 percent right now you cannot discount cash flow with this discount rate because cash flow is real this discount rate is nominal. So, you need to convert you need to convert this either real cash flow into nominal cash flow or you need to convert the nominal discount rate into real discount rate is it right otherwise you cannot go ahead question is companies compute companies real cost of capital. So, first question is real discount rate which I can find out from nominal discount rate and inflation which I can find out from nominal discount rate and inflation. So, this will be 1 plus nominal discount rate upon 1 plus inflation rate minus 1. We have seen the logic of the formula I had given you an example of a bat where quality improvement is 10 percent inflation is 10 percent from that logic this formula was dis, uh, designed. Second question is once you compute real discount rate you can find the present value of cash inflow not NPV only inflow using real cost of capital. So, first step will be real discount rate 
second question will be present value using real cash flow and real discount rate and the next one compute nominal cash inflow from real cash inflow oh my god one more time you have to solve you have to convert real cash flow into nominal cash flow by using the formula nominal cash flow equal to real cash flow into 1 plus i to the power n okay and also calculate present value on the basis of nominal cash inflow and then pv of cash inflow using nominal cash flow and nominal discount rate oh my god this is what is the question from rtp very basic and fundamental question should not take more time so first write down step one first write down step one real discount rate real discount rate real discount rate is equal to 1 plus nominal discount rate upon 1 plus inflation rate minus 1 then write down is equal to 1 plus 0 0.09 upon 1.032 minus 1 please solve give me the answer give me the answer with this is a participation of yours also required the answer will not come directly answer will come after you will respond okay this is a special style of learning the student has replied 5.62 percent correct 5.62 percent is no real discount rate <coughs> 5.62 percent is the real discount rate step 2 write down step 2 calculation of pv of cash inflow calculation of pv of cash inflow using real discount rate calculation of pv of cash inflow using real discount rate so this is your chance to reply what will be pv of cash inflow using real discount rate real cash flow is 280000 per year real discount rate is 5.62% time is 4 year please reply what is the PV of cash inflow. What is the PV of cash inflow? What is the PV of cash inflow? I am waiting for your answer. You are waiting for me and I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Please reply. PV of cash inflow. PV of cash inflow is 280,000 into PV annuity factor into PV annuity factor and I am waiting for you, I am waiting for you, please reply. Okay, check the answer now. 978 740 978 740 978 740 is it right now 978 740 any query on this do not expect me to explain factor now you are too old for that have you got this factor right have you got this answer right okay very good we appreciate your hard work now we'll come to case number three i have to compute 
nominal cash flow from real cash flow and then use nominal discount rate so write down please calculation of npv calculation of npv using nominal cash flow and nominal discount rate calculation of npv using nominal cash flow and nominal discount rate first you write a formula for nominal cash flow nominal cash flow equal to real cash flow into 1 plus inflation rate to the power n and what i'll do i'll draw a table first because every year nominal cash flow will change because of inflation first column here draw in your notebook second column cash flow real third column cash flow nominal third column cash flow nominal and to convert cash flow into nominal you will apply this formula then discounting factor at 9% this is already given discounting factor 9% is already given and the last column is discounted cash flow last column is discounted cash flow okay discounted cash flow means present value or you can just write present value if you are familiar with that first column year column complete 1 2 3 4 cash flow real is 2 lakh 80000 every year real without inflation nominal will be your this inflation rate is 3.2% 2 80000 plus 3.2% 2 80000 plus 3.2% 288960 plus 3.2% This is shortcut plus three point two percent two nine eight two zero seven plus three point two percent three zero seven seven four nine and plus three point two percent. You will get three one seven five nine seven. So this is my task. I can take you up to this. Remaining two columns, your task. You have to compute. You have to learn. You have to do it. Yes, come on. compute the present value total compute the present value column total compute the present value column total all of you please do it take 9% factor first and after taking 9% factor multiply and take total multiply and take total multiply and take total multiply take total use memory plus function anybody for the total anybody who got the total would like to reply Nine seventy eight seven twenty two, approximately. Right, approximately. Whatever you have got, right, approximately. If first three digits are right, then you are right. First three digits are right. You can go ahead. Very good answer. Now just check. This answer is equal to your previous answer. Just check. note answer is same under both approaches answer is same under both approaches is it right answer is same under both approaches that is what i wanted to demonstrate whether you use nominal cash flow and nominal discount rate real cash flow and real discount rate if the calculation is done properly the two answers will be same any query on this question any query on this question yes or no if no query then we'll go to 
another very important question number 2 this question source write down reference book this question you will not find in institute publication but it's a good question high quality question and therefore you need to solve everything will not come from institute study material i hope you know that if it was so easy it was not called c exam it was called bcom exam we have to go beyond the study material and do something extra if you do extra you get extra marks that is the rule consider the following information relating to a project that involves an outlay of rupees 10000 in year 0 first year 0 outflow 10000 and yields an annual inflow of 3000 underline in real terms in real terms the cash flow is in real terms depreciation is on straight line method life is easy this time depreciation is also there this time depreciation is also there salvage value is zero very good all cash inflows cash inflows are subject to 7% inflation which means sales they are talking about sales sale is subject to 7% inflation while all cash outflows are subject to 8% inflation so they are talking about expense this expense is subject to 8% inflation P then in the table the nominal discount rate is 14% nominal so what I'll do I will compute nominal cash flow only nominal cash flow nominal discount rate will get NPV this table is given to you is in real terms how do you know it is in real terms it is written here 3000 and 3000 they are matching so which means the given information is in real terms ready sales expense PBT tax rate 60 percent oh my god very high profit after tax depreciation they have written separately depreciation tax shield depreciation tax shield 2500 into 0.6 what is 0 0.6 0 0.6 is the tax rate what is 2500 anybody what is 2500 here what is 2500 here can you please answer what is 2500 2500 is depreciation 10000 is the cost 2500 is depreciation what is the life of the project what is the life of the project four years that was a hidden information many students could not get it life of the project is 10,000 divided by annual depreciation four years salvage value is not there net cash flow is given I don't have to use this table but I have to use some information from this table for example I will require tax rate I will require depreciation I will use this number to start with not exactly same number but I will add the inflation to that number ready evaluate the project for acceptability if NPV is positive will accept if NPV is uh, negative will reject so first you write down one heading main heading followed by working note heading write down evaluation of the proposal evaluation of the proposal to undertake a new project evaluation of the proposal to undertake a new project evaluation of the proposal to undertake a new project that is the heading below that right calculation of NPV calculation of NPV calculation of NPV 
first write down year, second column write particulars, third column cash flow, fourth column discounting factor at 14 percent and last column DCF or PV, DCF or PV present value, DCF or PV. Okay. Have you drawn the format? Simple format year 0. What happened in year 0? Cost of the project 20,000, sorry 10,000. Discounting factor you will write yourself. Multiply you will do yourself. My task is to give you cash flow. Year 1 write down CFAT, CFAT, CFAT. Okay, and you write here, refer working note. We have to prepare working note for this. We have to prepare working note for this. Do we have salvage value in this question? No. Do we have recovery of working capital in this question? No. Is it right? So, what you do? Come to keep five lines blank, five line blank below that right, working note 1, working note 1 write down calculation of CFAT, calculation of CFAT, calculation of CFAT, please reply, how many years are there, four years, draw this table, serial number, particulars, year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4 year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. Sales are subject to 7 percent inflation, cash expense are subject to 8 percent inflation, depreciation is not subject to inflation. So, with that knowledge start, first write down sales in real terms real terms it will be same 7000 7000 7000 7000 okay sales now this is relevant nominal sales nominal real cash flow into 1 plus i to the power n and what is i here inflation you can write in bracket where I is equal to 7 percent, where I is equal to 7 percent, where I is equal to 7 percent. Now see how to get the answer, how to get the answer you take type 7000 plus 7 percent because all year are 7000. If it was different then you have to do separately 7000 plus 7 percent after one year with inflation your revenue will be 7490 plus 7 percent plus 7 percent come on 8014 plus 7 percent plus 7 percent keep trying keep trying go ahead go ahead next column don't wait for me round off the number don't write in decimal don't write in decimal you are a big boy now big girl now Next point, number C, cash expense real, cash expense real, copy from the book, cash expense real. Now write down cash expense nominal, cash expense nominal, nominal is equal to real cash flow into 1 plus i to the power n, where i is equal to 8 percent where i is equal to 8 percent. Okay. Again you take your calculator 3250 plus 8 percent that will help you 3510 plus 8 percent 3791 plus 8 percent 4094 plus 8 percent 4422 four four double two 
फोर फोर डबल टू पॉइंट नंबर ई डेप्रीशिएशन डेप्रीशिएशन विल नॉट बी सब्जेक्ट टू इन्फ्लेशन डेप्रीशिएशन विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड बिकॉज स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड सो डेप्रीशिएशन विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट दिस इज माई सेल्स दिस इज माई एक्सपेंस एंड दिस इज माई डेप्रीशिएशन सेल्स माइनस एक्सपेंस माइनस डेप्रीशिएशन वॉट विल यू गेट सेल्स माइनस एक्सपेंस माइनस डेप्रीशिएशन वॉट विल यू गेट इफ यू आर एन अकाउंट स्टूडेंट वॉट विल यू गेट प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स सो यू विल राइट B minus D minus E, B minus D minus E. So please take on your calculator. Seven four nine zero minus three five one zero minus two five double zero minus two five double zero. So would you please calculate? Yes, PBT was right. Very good. First column is one four eight zero. Can you reply second column? second column second column please this computer will not move unless you reply 1723 it is programmed like this once you reply then it takes the number third year third year third year 1981 third year 1981 yes next fourth year Fourth year two two five four very good two two five four now compute tax at the rate sixty percent compute tax at the rate sixty percent first you type on your calculator type on your calculator point sixty into one four eight zero you will get triple eight now just type this number just type one seven two three press equal to you will get the next answer one zero three four Type this number equal to. Type this number equal to. Check the answer. This is your taxation. This is your taxation. Now I have to reach CFAT. My question to all of you: What will be CFAT of the first year? What will be CFAT of the first year? Please reply. What will be CFAT of the first year? Anybody who would like to try CFAT of the first year? There are two ways you can do it. There are two ways you can do it. One, Mr. Srinath is saying two two five four. Anup is saying three three double eight, which is right. okay let me check this is my inflow this is my outflow and this is my outflow b minus d minus g b minus d minus g very good shrinath keep trying so now the answer is 3092 is right 3092 is right or you can write F minus G plus depreciation E. F minus G plus E is also okay. F minus G plus E is also okay. Three zero nine two. So now you got the trick. Please quickly reply second year. Please quickly reply second year. Second year. Three one eight nine. Check second year. Three one eight nine. Anybody next? Three two nine two. Three two nine two. Three two nine two is right. Please confirm. Is it right? And then three four zero two. Last one. Is it right? Three four zero two. Three four zero two. Is this right? Okay, Shrinath, 
is it right what you do please transfer these four numbers main answer now to the main answer transfer it to the main answer where we have to compute npv transfer it and compute npv my job is done my job is done so the student will have to now find out the npv these numbers take to the main page discount at 14% and find the present value discount at 14% and find the present value so we are on the main page right now cf80309231893292340 okay very good now you compute npv compute npv discounting factor is 14% take 14% factor after that multiply cash flow into pv factor and solve anybody who can confirm that this npv is 598 negative is npv 598 negative yes the student has confirmed npv is 598 so if your npv is negative 598 what is your decision would you accept the project or would you not accept the project so write down the advice advice write down the company should not accept the proposal the company should not accept the proposal as the npv is negative as the npv is negative company should not accept the proposal as the npv is negative okay anybody any query on this question sajid any query hari any query divya any query anup or all any other student who have a query no query will go to the next question or just write one note below write one note below the life of the project was not given so i'll make a working note for you life of the project is equal to 10000 divided by depreciation 2500 so life of the project is 4 years the life of the project is 4 years is it right now life of the project is 4 years do you did you enjoy this question see yes yes now we'll come to question number 3 question number 3 source write down reference material reference book source write reference book institute material has very limited number of questions and plus they are over simplified also question is as hospitals wow as hospital proposes to buy a dna testing equipment so what is the capital budgeting program to buy a dna testing equipment have you heard about dna have you heard about dna yes or no yes if you have heard good even if you have not heard you are not going to lose anything we are interested in this number 30 lakh mati equipment will cost 30 lakh what that equipment does none of the business of ca okay we have to give the proposal and check it is right or not okay so dna testing equipment is very useful for lot of uh, needs of the government hospitals human beings the equipment is expected to reduce clinical staff cost by rupees 10 lakh annually 
so what is the saving 10 lakh per annum if you purchase this equipment you will save rupees 10 lakh per annum but the question is not clear the question is not clear whether this 10 lakh per annum is real or nominal so please guess no money for guessing whether this 10 lakh cash flow is real or nominal nobody is responding just just you have to say real or nominal if it is right no price if it is wrong no punishment so real you are right because if it was nominal it will not be same in every three year then it will be different in different years inflation in clinical cost is six percent so my saving will be not 10 lakh saving will be 10 lakh plus six percent plus six percent plus six percent the equipment will have a useful life of five year so we have to go up to five year but will be written off over three year under slm for income tax purpose for the purpose of depreciation three year only for depreciation but for cfat purpose the life is five year these are some basic thing you have to keep in mind one more variable we have added in our question now working capital requirement it was not in the previous two question working capital requirement is 5 lakh that is at the beginning year 0 and it will be recovered after 5 years it will be recovered after 5 year ok next is corporate tax rate is 40 percent you may assume that company has sufficient profits to absorb losses if any from this project sir what is the meaning of this line the meaning of this line is that if suppose if suppose there is a loss in the first year suppose that loss can be absorbed the loss can be absorbed in the same year if the loss can be absorbed in the same year there will be tax saving in the same year if the loss cannot be absorbed in the same year losses are carried forward to the subsequent year then the tax saving will be in the subsequent year so in this question if there is a loss it will be absorbed in the same year and you will get tax saving in the same year okay the required rate of return is 15 percent post tax i am going to ask you one more question whether this required rate of return 15 percent post tax is it real discount rate or nominal discount rate little fast so that i can understand is it real discount rate or nominal discount rate if this question comes in your exam which is not in the study material what is your answer 15 percent discount rate is it real or nominal real or nominal <clears throat> real or nominal okay some students are saying real some are saying nominal what do i do i will take a coin toss whatever i get accordingly right we will interpret as nominal nominal is right because it is given post tax post tax means the tax was calculated using nominal number only tax was calculated using nominal cash flows only so we will interpret this as nominal uh, discount rate should the hospital go for the equipment Srinath is right nominal should the hospital buy DNA testing equipment for that we need to find out the NPV of the proposal write down first heading write down start with a nice caption evaluation of the proposal to buy DNA testing equipment 
evaluation of the proposal to buy DNA testing equipment. Evaluation of the proposal to buy DNA testing equipment. Please ask your other friends also to join. Draw this table now. Calculation of NPV. Calculation of NPV. Then draw this table. Year particulars. Cash flow. Discounting factor at 15 percent. And discounted cash flow. Instead of writing discounted cash flow, you can write present value. You can write present value. DCF or present value. First, we will write down in year 0. In year 0, we have two outflows. In year 0, we have two outflows. 1. Cost of equipment 30. Cost of equipment 3030. Year 0, one more outflow will be there. Working capital 5. 5. Then you write down rupees in lakhs. If not written, write rupees in lakhs. write rupees in lakhs here to get full marks get write everything after that write down CF80 for 5 years and the source of the answer will be working note 1 then in the year 5 Recovery of working capital. This working capital will be recovered in the year 5 and the amount is 5. Now, there are two answers here possible. Two answers are possible here. One answer is 5. Working capital is not subject to inflation. Second answer can be working capital is also subject to inflation working capital is also subject to inflation and in that case we will have to find out what will be the inflated value of that working capital. Is it right? So, usually unless otherwise specified we take the same value. We assume working capital is not subject to inflation, but some problems may give you that also. In that case we will take the inflated value of working capital. I will give you a note for this. Do not worry. This question is subject to certain assumptions. So, what is my next task now? What should I do now? Please suggest. What should I do? What should I do? I should make a working note. Keep 5 lines blank for writing advice and then working note 1. Calculation of CFAT. Calculation of CFAT. Calculation of CFAT. This is a 5 year problem. For depreciation will take 3 years. For depreciation purpose will take 3 years. So, first you write serial number particulars year. Under year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take a scale draw lines. If you have scale at home. If you do not have go to some neighbor borrow income. First point A, saving in clinical cost in real terms, saving in clinical cost in real terms, saving in clinical cost in real terms, 10. Then we will write saving in clinical cost in nominal terms. In nominal terms equal to real cash flow into inflation is 6 percent into 1.06 to the power n into 1.06 to the power n. Take 10 plus 6 percent plus 6 percent plus 6 percent plus 6 percent plus 6 percent. Is it right? Is this right? Any query on this? 
and then write down depreciation there is no other cost or expense so depreciation will be over 3 year 30 lakh divided by 3 year depreciation would be 10 10 10 only for first 3 years is it right now the next point is pbt nominal pbt nominal pbt nominal b minus c 0 0.6 1.24 1.91 12.62, this is the amount by which your tax or your profit will increase. If you purchase this uh, equipment, your profit will increase by these amounts, but because your profit will increase, we will have to pay tax also, tax at the rate 40 percent shortcut 0 0.4 into 0 0.6, 0 0.24 just type 1.24 press equal to just type 1.91 press equal to 0.76 press 12.62 press equal to and the last one 5.35 please check the answer please check the answer yourself is it right confirm is it right don't depend on me for the answer okay calculations can be wrong at my end also next point cfat cfat can be calculated by simply taking inflow minus outflow saving is inflow tax is outflow a b minus e b minus e come on student b minus e you can do it 10.36, is the answer right, is the answer right, you can do it, simple mathematics, no great effort involved. is the answer right ok so what do I do now this time I will not do it you will do it take this 5 CF80 number to the main page put it there use the factor find the NPV if NPV is positive you will accept the project so I will give you one minute to complete NPV one minute starts now one minute already started 10 seconds over 10 seconds over I am waiting for you only when you will reply NPV we will move ahead. Write nicely. Write everything. Okay. If you write everything, it is important that you can revise in a later stage easily. If you do not write, you will not be able to revise. So, this is the answer. Please check. Please check. Is the answer right? Yes, the student has confirmed the answer is right. Point twenty six positive NPV. Point twenty six positive NPV. If NPV is positive what is the advice you will write the advice would be es hospitals should buy 
DNA testing equipment should buy DNA testing equipment as NPV is positive as NPV is positive is the answer right point 26 as NPV is positive as NPV is positive have you noted have you noted this advice have you noted this advice yes now the next point assumptions assumptions right assumption number 1 assumption number 1 saving in clinical staff cost saving in clinical staff cost given in question given in question is in real terms is in real terms saving in clinical staff cost given in question is in real terms saving in clinical staff cost given in the question is in real terms second assumption discount rate discount rate given in the question is in nominal terms is in nominal terms discount rate given in the question is in nominal terms discount rate given in the question is in nominal terms third assumption right third assumption working capital is not subject to inflation third assumption right assumption 3 working capital is not subject to inflation 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 So, this is the answer of this question. If you still have a query, you can ask me. Do you have any query? No. We will go to question number 4. We will go to question number 4. Question number 4, again it has lot of adjustment. Are you ready for question number 4? Say yes. AS Limited is considering an investment in a new project which cost rupees 12 lakhs. First write down the source. Reference book. This first, second, third, fourth questions were from reference book but I am sure they will help you to understand the concept of inflation and capital budgeting. Let us revise question again. AS Limited is considering an investment in a new project which cost rupees 12 lakh. Earning before depreciation and tax are estimated at 3,75,000 in real terms. Very good. Underline. So, this EBDT earning before depreciation and tax which means this is basically sales minus cash expense EBDT means sales minus cash expense in real term for each of the five years so this is 375 real terms we have to convert into nominal terms because tax calculation will be based on nominal 
at the end of 5 year the machinery can be sold for its book value depreciation being 25 percent WDV oh my god depreciation is WDV so that will increase my workload plus one more instruction at the end of 5 year machinery can be sold for its book value the meaning of this line is that salvage value of the asset is equal to WDV of the fifth year WDV of the fifth year after depreciating in the fifth year whatever is the WDV that is the salvage value since you are intelligent student can I ask you a question can I ask you a question the question is what will be capital gain tax on this will any tax be paid on sale value will any tax be paid on sale value in this question will any tax be paid on sale value yes or no only say yes or no will you pay tax on sale value yes or no okay the answer is no the answer is no because sale value and WDV are equal so net profit is zero if net profit is zero where is the question of tax tax is paid when you have profit there is no profit on sale you are right S.S. Srinath is right. Very good. Next line. Working capital requirement at the beginning of each year is as under. Working capital requirement at the beginning of each year. What is beginning of each year? Means this is actually year 0. Year 1, 2, 3, 4. If they have written year 1, you actually will require working capital today if it is written beginning of year 2 which means end of year 1 beginning of year 3 will be end of year 2 like that so this time working capital requirement is changing I will have to add more working capital every year I have to add more working capital every year following additional information is relevant nominal discount rate nominal discount rate is given no question on this working capital can be realized at the end of the fifth year working capital will be realized at the end of the fifth year even if this line was not given we will do the same thing then inflation is expected to be 4% on all operating cash flow and for working capital oh my god this time the problem says even working capital requirement will be subject to inflation so they have written here 2 lakh rupees but its inflated value will be more than 2 lakh you have to add 4% to that ok this is in real term this working capital given are in real terms you will have to adjust inflation also at 4 percent tax rate 33 33 neither 30 nor 35 33 and now it says all cash flow occur at year end all cash flow occur at year end except for purchase of machinery and working capital which occur at the beginning so working capital requirement at beginning is already written everybody knows when you invest in a project unless otherwise specified the investment in asset will be at the beginning that is year zero evaluate the project and determine its acceptability good question will you do as homework or should we do as classwork? 
प्लीज कन्फर्म क्लास वर्क और होमवर्क क्लास वर्क और होमवर्क इफ यू डोंट से एनी थिंग आई विल गिव होमवर्क बट इफ यू से क्लास वर्क देन आई विल टेक क्लास वर्क स्टूडेंट हैव क्विकली रिप्लाइड क्लास वर्क ओके वेरी गुड राइट डाउन फर्स्ट आई विल ड्रॉ द मेन फॉर्मैट फॉलोड बाय वर्किंग नोट्स नॉट नोट नोट्स मोर देन वन वर्किंग नोट ओके सो राइट evaluation of the proposal to invest in the project evaluation of the proposal to invest in the project under that right calculation of npv calculation of npv please solve all these questions they are very useful write down table year particulars cash flow discounting factor at 16% and discounted cash flow and discounted cash flow and discounted cash flow after drawing the format you can write cost of the project cost of the project is 12 lakh discounting factor and present value you will calculate last column heading you can write present value working capital right 1 lakh working capital at the beginning of year 1 working capital at the beginning of year 1 means year 0 beginning of year 1 is year 0 1 lakh and then write down cfat operating cfat i'll prepare second working note for that first working note will be working capital requirement in nominal terms second working note will be cfat working note to then write down year 5 one more cash flow salvage value of the project salvage value of the project but that amount we will write later because i need to find out what will be wdv after 5 year that amount i will write later and one more thing write down recovery of working capital recovery of working capital amount will write later not 1 lakh because some more working capital was added in the uh, project amount will write later so don't worry these two figures will also come later <coughs> have you drawn the format everybody have you written the information which is available right now please confirm yes very good now you write down first change in working capital change in working capital change in working capital in bracket nominal change in working capital nominal draw this table serial number particulars now in the question they have written 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 but i am not writing 1 2 3 4 5 1 i am writing 0 1 2 3 4 1 2 i am writing 0 1 2 3 4 to avoid any mistake write down first year uh, uh point a working capital required real working capital required real everybody look at the question book copy from the question book from the question book 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh then first will convert into nominal first will convert into nominal write down working capital required nominal
इन्फ्लेशन रेट इज फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन रेट इज फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन रेट इज फोर परसेंट ईयर जीरो फिगर विल रिमेन सेम नेवर एड इन्फ्लेशन टू ईयर जीरो फिगर द इन्फ्लेशन विल टेक इफेक्ट ओनली विद द पासज ऑफ टाइम नाउ टेल मी फर्स्ट ईयर दिस टू लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू लैक एट थाउजेंड थ्री लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर स्क्वायर बिकॉज इट इज टू ईयर सो यू विल टेक थ्री लैक प्लस फोर परसेंट प्लस फोर परसेंट थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर फोर एटी दिस विल बी फोर लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू दी पावर थ्री सो टाइप फोर लैक प्लस फोर परसेंट प्लस फोर परसेंट प्लस फोर परसेंट यू विल गेट फोर फोर नाइन नाइन फोर सिक्स इन द सेम वे फाइव लैक इन टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर टू दी पावर फोर वर्किंग कैपिटल इज सब्जेक्ट टू फोर परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन आंसर प्लीज वट इज द आंसर फाइव एटी फोर नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट कैलकुलेशन यू कैन राइट सो दैट लेटर ऑन यू हैव नो कन्फ्यूजन प्लीज इफ यू थिंक यू विल हैव डाउट इन फ्यूचर राइट द कैलकुलेशन इफ यू आर श्योर प्लीज गो एड वर्किंग कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट इन नॉमिनल टर्म्स वी हैव कंप्यूटेड वी हैव इन्वेस्टेड वन लैक हेयर इन ईयर जीरो बट आवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू लैक एट थाउजेंड इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ईयर टू एंड ऑफ ईयर वन सो हाउ मच मोर वर्किंग कैपिटल विल बी रिक्वायर्ड राइट इंक्रीज इन वर्किंग कैपिटल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट so what is the mistake the student can make the student will not go to this line they will simply take 2 lakh 8000 you are wrong because i have to find increase in working capital 1 lakh is already there 2 lakh 8000 is required so i will have to add infuse 1 lakh 8000 more go to next column take this difference take this difference 116480 go to next year take this difference 125466 very good next take this difference of this two take the difference of this two come on reply 134983 134983 i will request you to please check this yourself is it right is it right is it right yes i am going to require these numbers in the next calculation is it right before i go to the next calculation how much is my total working capital invested my total working capital invested is 1 lakh plus 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 which means it is equal to 584 929 584 929 is my total working capital requirement is it right which will be recovered at the end of the fifth year so what you do go to the main page go to main page last line main page last line recovery of working capital recovery of working capital put this number 584929 584929 in the main page last line recovery of working capital 584929 positive number 584929 positive number right so this last line working capital recovery we have done now the next 
important working note too is operating CF80. Operating CF80 nominal. Operating CF80 nominal year under year. Please write one, two, three, four, five. Year one, two, three, four, five. If you have scale pencil, draw lines. About ten to twelve lines you can draw. If you don't have scale, ignore. First point A. EBDT. EBDT real write down real. Given in the first few lines only. Keep the notes in front of you. Without notes, you will not be able to understand. Three lakh seventy five thousand. Three lakh seventy five thousand. Nominal. I have to add inflation four percent. So you will have to write here. Nominal cash flow is. real cash flow into 1.04 to the power n into 1.04 4% is inflation so how do i do it fast how do i do it fast 375000 plus 4% plus 390 plus 4% plus 4% plus 4% come on N plus four percent. So this is your nominal cash flow. This is your nominal cash flow. Now write down depreciation. This is before depreciation. Depreciation point number C, opening W D V, and below that point two depreciation at twenty five percent. Depreciation will be twenty five percent. Opening W D V right twelve lakh. Depreciation rate is twenty five percent. Divide by four. Divide by four, you get three lakh. Next year opening balance nine lakh. Divide by four, two lakh twenty five thousand. Next year opening balance six lakh seventy five thousand. Divide by four, one sixty eight seven fifty. Next year five lakh six thousand two fifty divided by four, one twenty six five sixty three. Last year three seventy nine six eighty seven divided by four, nine four nine double two. Wait a wait a minute. What will be W D V after five year? What will be W D V here? Can you please calculate W D V for me? What will be W D V? I will require that in the main answer. Three seventy nine six eighty seven minus nine four nine double two two eighty four seven sixty five. Please check. Is it right? Two eighty four seven sixty five. Is it right? Where will you transfer it? Go to the main page. Main page last second line. Main page last second line. You have written salvage value. Write there two eighty four seven sixty five. Two eighty four seven sixty five. And in bracket write down in main page three seventy nine six eighty seven minus nine four nine double two. Minus nine four nine double two. Is it right? Can we move ahead? Now write down PBT. PBT will be point B minus point C two. Point B minus point C two. Take this line. Minus this depreciation. Okay, do it yourself. Three ninety minus three lakh, ninety thousand. Four lakh six th five thousand six hundred minus two lakh twenty five thousand, one lakh eighty thousand six hundred. Yes, very good. Move ahead. Next one. 
253074 is it right go ahead next one next one 312134 next one 361 323 361 323 tax at the rate 33 percent shortcut first you type 0.33 into 90,000 29,700 type this number press equal to 59598 type this number press equal to 83514 type this number press equal to वन लैख थ्री थाउजेंड फोर लास्ट वन 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 नाइन टू थ्री सेवन ओके सी एफ एटी नॉमिनल सी एफ एटी नॉमिनल विल बी कैश इन फ्लो माइनस टैक्स पेमेंट जस्ट दिस टू लाइन्स विल सर्व दर्पज बी माइनस ई B minus E, or you can take PBT minus tax plus depreciation. That is also okay if you are comfortable with that. Or D minus E plus C two. If you are comfortable with that, D minus E plus C two. Yes, please reply. Three sixty three hundred. Three forty six double zero two. Write in notebook nicely. Every friend of yours will ask for your notebook. We are going to write so nicely all these answers. Three thirty eight three one zero. I have arranged the question in the level of difficulty also. Three thirty five six ninety three. Three thirty seven double zero eight. Three thirty seven double zero eight. Ask all your friends to join, and they can also ask question if any. Then we'll come to one more thing. Do you remember we have prepared one working note, increase in working capital. If working capital increases. Cash flow decreases because it is also like an investment. So increase in working capital, I am going to deduct from CFAT, and I will get operating CFAT. Do you remember in your uh, intermediate cash flow statement, you have deducted increase in current asset, yes or no, as a deduction. More investment is required. so this i have to deduct go to working note 1 working note 1 increase in working capital first 4 years only what about fifth year fifth year will be recovery recovery we have already written recovery we have already written so now write down point number h operating cfat operating cfat Will be CFAT we have computed, and I will also deduct deduct increase in working capital. So please take the difference in these two column. Please student, please cooperate and reply. First year, first year, two fifty two three hundred. Second year, second year. Two twenty nine five double two. Third year. Third year two one two eight double four. Fourth year. Two lakh seven hundred ten. Last year same figure. Three three seven double zero eight. Three three seven double zero eight. Now what I'll do? These numbers. I will transfer to the main page. transfer to the main page on the main page you have written operating cfat in front of that year 
Two fifty two three hundred, two twenty nine five twenty two, two one two eight double four, two lakh seven hundred ten, three thirty seven double zero eight. Is it right? Go to the main page. Put these numbers here. Put these numbers here. As per your working note two, salvage value of the project. Two eighty four seven sixty five. In bracket, write the calculation. And recovery of working capital. Working note one, you have written five eighty four nine twenty nine. We have prepared working notes for everything. We have written calculation for everything. Now the student will have to solve and reach this uh, NPV. Just check the answer. you can do it if you have doubt check from the screen everybody will first check the answer don't copy do it yourself it is like a practice it is like a test don't practice in the exam some of you practice in the exam you think exam is a test series and the fees is only 2500 or something very expensive because the cost is your 6 months more practice in the classroom with the teacher is very useful rather than practicing directly in the exam is the answer right Nine zero one six five negative. Who will confirm? Nobody has confirmed till now. Is the answer nine zero one six five correct? Nine zero one six five. Yes, Mr. Hari. Is the answer right, Mr. Shrinath? Bapat. Okay, so negative nine zero three six seven you are getting. Okay, no problem. Any number which is close to ninety thousand is right. Advice, write down. Advice. The project should not be accepted. Project should not be accepted. because npv is negative project should not be accepted because npv is negative first you write down this advice project should not be accepted because npv is negative now i will give you some notes write down notes first you have written advice project should not be accepted because npv is negative note write down for those who don't know increase in working capital increase in working capital is cash outflow increase in working capital is cash outflow second note write down the effect of inflation on recovery of working capital is not given the effect of inflation on recovery of working capital is not given because working capital will be recovered 
at the end of underline at the end of working capital will be recovered at the end of fifth year the effect of inflation the effect of inflation will be beginning of next year the effect of inflation will be beginning of next year i'll repeat if you can't read second point the effect of inflation on recovery of working capital is not given because working capital will be recovered at the end of the fifth year the effect of inflation will be beginning of the next year means sixth year but we don't have to go to sixth year we have to go only up to five years okay any query now preferably you should watch this lecture on laptop uh, because we have so much of data on the screen on mobile screen i don't know whether it is clearly visible or not okay but choice is yours can we go to the next question now next question is from study material also asked in november 2010 exam for 8 marks may 2005 exam for also 8 marks and our study material question is very easy okay don't depend on this question number 5 a firm has projected the following cash flow from a project under evaluation year rupees in lakhs 0 1 2 3 the above cash flows have been made at expected prices after recognizing inflation what does that mean this is nominal cash flow after recognizing inflation means this is nominal cash flow the firm's cost of capital is 10% the expected annual rate of inflation is 5% so how the viability of the project is to be evaluated again one uh, area of doubt what is the area of doubt this one whether <clears throat> this cost of capital please reply little fast nominal or real whether this cost of capital 10% is nominal or real nominal or real one student is saying real anybody else real or nominal you just have to mention real or nominal if you are studying from home so the answer is real because if cash flow is nominal and if discount rate is also nominal then there is no need to give this uh, inflation data is it right this is nominal is given this is not given but then if i assume it to be nominal if i assume this is nominal then my job is very simple it becomes the first question of 12 standard just find the present value using 10% and the cash flows are given so we will assume it is a real discount rate and if you assume it is a real discount rate and nominal cash flow is given first you have to find first you have to find nominal discount rate write down method 1 method 1 using nominal discount rate i am going to solve this question twice nominal nominal real real first method 1 using nominal discount rate under that step 1 calculation of nominal discount rate under that formula which we have seen today 
we have understood with the help of one example of a bat where the quality improvement was 10 percent and inflation was 10 percent using that example only. Anybody answer for nominal discount rate? Nominal discount rate 1 plus 0.10 into 1.05 minus 1. So, this comes to 15.5 percent. 15.5 percent is right. Now, we will come to calculation of NPV. Calculation of NPV year particulars cash flow discounting factor at 15.5 percent last column DCF or you can write present value or we can write present value DCF or present value rupees in lakhs write down write down rupees in lakhs write down rupees in lakhs at the top right hand corner rupees in lakhs year 0 investment 70 1 cash flow 30 2 cash flow 40 3 cash flow 30 given these are already nominal cash flow so i just need to apply the discounting factor nominal cash flow will be discounted using nominal discount rate take on your calculator 1 divided by 1.155 factor equal to equal to equal to now you can multiply and take the total now you can multiply and take the total please reply first one 70 second second one yes 25.974 very good third one next one come on 29.984 very good next one 19.47 is your NPV positive Yes, advice. Project should be accepted. Because NPV is positive. And one assumption we have made in our answer. assumption the given cost of capital the given cost of capital is in real terms is in real terms the given cost of capital is in real terms the given cost of capital is in real terms first method is over although not required but i am going to show you that you can solve the problem by real discount rate also and you will get the same answer so write down method 2 write down method 2 using real discount rate using real discount rate sometime in the exam they specifically mention that solve by using real discount rate then how will you solve it cash flows are nominal nominal cash flow will be converted into equivalent real cash flow real cash flow will be discounted using real discount rate so please write format first year cash flows nominal cash flows nominal 
देन नेक्स्ट कॉलम कैश फ्लो रियल कैश फ्लो रियल एंड देन राइट डाउन बिलो दैट फॉर्मूला नॉमिनल कैश फ्लो अपॉन वन प्लस इन्फ्लेशन रेट टू दी पावर एन नॉमिनल कैश फ्लो अपॉन वन प्लस इन्फ्लेशन रेट टू दी पावर एन वन प्लस इन्फ्लेशन रेट टू दी पावर एन देन डिस्काउंटिंग फैक्टर एट टेन परसेंट बिकॉज नाउ इफ कैश फ्लो इज रियल my discount rate will also be real and the last column present value and you can write in the top right hand corner rupees in lakhs write everything don't miss any thing which is relevant for solving and getting full marks year cash flow nominal cash flow real then discounting factor present value so let us solve this amazing question one more time year 0 first you copy from the question book this nominal cash flows given now we'll go to now we'll go to nominal cash flow will be converted into real cash flow year 0 will be same what about the next one 30 divided by how much was inflation 5% 30 divided by 1.05 come on 30 divided by 1.05 28.57 28.57 40 divided by 1.05 two times equal to two times equal to 36.28 Thirty divided by one point zero five, three times equal to, three times equal to, twenty five point nine two. Okay, so that is how you will convert nominal cash flow into real cash flow. You are removing the effect of inflation from that. If there was no inflation, what would have been your real cash flow? Now you can use uh, discounting factor and present value calculation. So discounting factor at ten percent, right? Discounting factor at ten percent, write down. Come on, student. Come on, come on. Next, multiply. Take total. Multiply. Take total. How much is that? Seventy. Twenty-five point nine seven. Twenty-nine point nine eight. Nineteen point four seven. And the last one is five point forty-two. You will be. very happy to note that the answer under the two methods are equal the answer under the two method this we have proved in first question also and this now we have proved in the fifth question also so advice write down project should be accepted because npv is positive one note answer under two methods are equal answers under two methods are same answer under two methods are same now what you will do in the exam if nothing is given you have to solve only once i have solved by both ways because if they ask a particular method then you can follow that method also okay so now we'll first take a break of 10 minutes and we will start after 10 minutes is it right so enjoy the break have tea biscuit lunch dinner whatever you want see you after 10 minutes
Okay, welcome back. I hope you have enjoyed till now. Are you enjoying? <clears throat> Those who are attending live session, are you able to understand and enjoy this amazing topic? <clears throat> so let us come to next question number six now. Next question number six. Question number six now. ASF generated the following cash flow forecast in real terms. Underline real terms. Underline real terms. <clears throat> Capital expenditure. Oh my God. Question is not complete. So write down. Capital expenditure. Year zero one two one zero. You have to write purposefully it was done so that you will concentrate revenue <clears throat> 1900 2000 then cash expense right cash expense 950 1000 depreciation right depreciation right 605 605 ASF estimates the inflation to be 10% per year over the next two years. Inflation is 10%. This all cash flows are in real terms. Except the depreciation, we have to inflate revenue and expense. ASF believes that 
कैश फ्लो शुड बी डिस्काउंटेड एट नॉमिनल रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इफ द प्रॉब्लम से कैश फ्लो शुड बी डिस्काउंटेड एट नॉमिनल रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट विच मीन्स दिस टाइम आई हैव टू कंपल्सरली कन्वर्ट दिस कैश फ्लो इन टू नॉमिनल कैश फ्लो फर्स्ट आई हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू नॉमिनल कैश फ्लो एंड देन यूज नॉमिनल डिस्काउंट रेट वन मोर एडजस्टमेंट tax rate is 30% below that they have written compute npv using nominal cash flow technique but they have added one more question compute npv using real cash flow technique if real cash flow technique is to be used i need to convert nominal discount rate into real discount rate and nominal cash flow into real cash flow up to nominal cash flow we have to compute because we have to compute taxation tax is always in nominal terms so this is a very good question and the source is a reference book we have to study advanced question also the topic is advanced capital budgeting and therefore i have brought some advanced version so write down write down the answer answer is very easy calculation of npv calculation of npv using nominal cash flow approach using nominal cash flow approach calculation of npv using nominal cash flow approach we'll draw a table with 10 columns year cash flow real then cash flow cash inflow nominal cash inflow nominal cash expense <coughs> cash expense nominal cash expense nominal depreciation pbt after pbt directly pat which is 70% of pbt then cfat nominal cfat nominal discounting factor at 15% 15.5% and pv draw this table first <coughs> draw this table first write down column numbers also write down column number also please write column number also column number 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 will be 3 minus 4 minus 5 3 minus 4 minus 5 is pbt column number 7 8 will be pat plus depreciation column number 7 plus column number 5 pat plus depreciation then ninth number is discounting factor 10th number is present value 10th number is present value okay so we'll go column by column first column right first column right year 1 year 2 second column right cash inflow 1900 and 2000 these are real cash flow add 10% inflation 1900 plus 10% 2090 2000 into 1.10 square 2000 into 1.10 square that is 2420 expense is given 915 in first year plus 10% 1045 second year expense is 1000 into 1.10 square into 1.10 square 1210 1210 
depreciation will be same 605 calculate pbt inflow outflow depreciation check the answer 450 is right second year 2420 minus 605 please confirm is 605 right is 605 right 70 percent will be pbt into 70 percent will give you pat pat is 70 percent of 440 308 70 percent of 605 424 424 CF80 will be PAT plus depreciation 913 PAT plus depreciation 1029 now you compute discounting factor check the factor 1 divided by 1.155 1 divided by 1.155 equal to 0 0.8658 0 0.7496 now just multiply these two columns multiply these two columns write down PV of cash flow after tax 1561.82 please check and tell me is it right please confirm is it right please respond somebody is asking you a question is the calculation right is the total of last column right is the total of last column correct 1561.82 yes now write down below NPV write down below NPV NPV is equal to PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow PV of cash inflow 1561.82 minus outflow 1210 the first answer is 351.82 351.82 351 is your NPV advice write down advice advice write down project should be accepted project should be accepted as the NPV is positive as the N NPV is positive <clears throat> Rakesh Bhatia go to the next working note now we have to solve it by real cash flow technique you are given nominal discount rate you will have to convert into real discount rate you have computed nominal cash flow you have to convert into real cash flow real discount rate and real cash flow will be used is it right so write down answer of second part under that write down next line step one calculation of real discount rate calculation of real discount rate calculation of real discount rate then under that you write down formula real discount rate is equal to 1 plus nominal discount rate upon 1 plus inflation rate minus 1 1 plus inflation rate then minus 1 nominal discount rate is 15.5% 1 plus 0.155 divided by 1.10 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.05 or 5 percent is this right is this 5 percent right 
is the answer 5 percent right yes now the next task is to find out the npv using real discount rate first we'll draw one format very easy question nothing to explain here cash inflow cash inflow nominal cash inflow real like we have done in the earlier problem discounting factor will be 5 percent and present value and present value everybody please participate year column right 1 and 2 cash inflow nominal go to previous working this you will find in earlier calculation earlier calculation method 1 you will get it 9131029913 divided by 1.10 real cash flow 830 year 2 1029 divided by 1 1.10 square please check the calculation 850.41 850.41 compute PV factor at 5 percent <clears throat> 1 divided by 1.05 0 0.9524 again equal to 0 0.9070 multiply this two check the answer please check the answer are you getting 790.49 850.41 850.41 check the answer 771.32 so my total is 1581.81 one, one, <coughs> 1581.81 okay 1561.81 this is the right answer 1561.81 then we'll go to below step number 3 npv NPV equal to <clears throat> NPV equal to PV of cash inflow <clears throat> minus PV of cash outflow. PV of cash inflow is 1561.81. 1561.81 minus 1 to 1 0 and that is equal to 351.81 that is 351.81 what is the advice you will write the project should be accepted if you are asked a specific method you can follow that method because NPV is positive because NPV is positive. I have solved this question by both ways. Very important question. Even if you are asked real cash flow technique, first you have to find CFAT in nominal terms because tax rate is to be, tax is to be computed. Very good. Now we will go to question number 7 from November 2019 exam. November 2019 exam mark important sir can we use real terms given in the question directly no you can't because you have to compute tax and if you have to compute tax then the cash flows have to be converted into nominal cash flow first okay we can't use real cash flows directly because we have to calculate tax because we have to calculate tax and tax is to be calculated
using nominal pad PBT tax is to be calculated using nominal PBT because government will not accept tax based on real PBT right in case if you are interested you can copy this note otherwise not required I will go to next question important question because it is from your exam only institute exam only Mr. Swastik Enterprise wants to invest in a new project the following information are available with regard to the new project initial outlay 80,000 annual revenue without inflation 60,000 annual cost excluding inflation that is excluding depreciation and without inflation so these are real useful life 4 years salvage value 0 tax rate is given 50 percent cost of capital is 12 percent and there is a small problem they have not mentioned whether this cost of capital is real or whether this cost of capital is nominal is it right so we will assume nominal we will assume nominal cash flow <clears throat> that is the problem with the institute they don't clarify and then there can be a challenge to the student expected annual rate of inflation is given 10 percent determine NPV using cash flow with inflation purposefully they have written determine NPV using cash flow with inflation and decide whether the new project can be accepted or not your calculations are to be rounded off in two decimal PV factors at 12 percent is given this is one more hint <clears throat> when the PV factor is given at 12 percent which means they are trying to give you a hint that this cost of capital is nominal but they should have clarified it our student can be in trouble in the exam because of this so please write the answer in the notebook please write the answer in notebook when you will write you will learn more please write the answer in notebook I will give you another question 8 as homework question 8 note down homework question 8 homework same question similar question was asked in another exam step number 1 right step number 1 calculation of annual cash flow calculation of annual cash flow it's a question of four years write down year one year two year three year four first point a right annual revenue nominal what is the inflation rate 10 percent inflation rate is 10 percent revenue 60,000 without inflation so take on your calculator 60,000 plus 10 percent plus 10 percent plus 10 percent plus 10 percent okay understood okay now write down annual cost nominal annual cost nominal given 20,000 plus inflation 10 percent 20,000 plus 10 percent plus 10 percent again plus 10 percent plus 10 percent then write down depreciation life is 4 year salvage value 0 cost of the project is 80,000 so annual depreciation will be 20,000 assume straight line method assume straight line method PBT write down A minus B minus C PBT A minus B minus C first year please reply first year first year PBT first year PBT 24,000 second year 28,400 very good come on third year third year 33,240 
फोर्थ ईयर थर्टी एट फाइव सिक्सटी फोर थर्टी एट फाइव सिक्सटी फोर देन टैक्स एट द रेट फिफ्टी परसेंट टैक्स एट द रेट फिफ्टी परसेंट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन सिक्स ट्वेंटी जस्ट टेक हाफ ऑफ इट नाइनटीन टू एटी टू you will get pat you will get pat suppose you don't have time in the exam you can remove that tax column also pat will be same no calculation because tax rate is 50% question number 8 was homework note down and down write down cf80 pat plus depreciation pat plus depreciation Add these two, you will get thirty-two thousand, thirty-four two hundred, thirty-six six twenty, thirty-nine two eighty-two. This is my annual cash flow after tax. This is my annual CF eighty. Now we can compute NPV. Now we can compute NPV. Please write step two. Please write step two calculation of NPV. Calculation of NPV. NPV. Under that, write five columns. First column, write year. Particulars. Cash flow in rupees. PV factor, which is given. PV of cash flow in rupees. PV of cash flow in rupees. Identify year zero. Cash outlay eighty thousand. Present value eighty thousand. Year one. Annual CF eighty. From step one. In bracket step one. <clears throat> factor is given. Check the factor in the problem. Point eight nine three. Multiply. Two eight five seven six equal to memory plus memory plus year two annual cash inflow thirty four two hundred factor is given multiply equal to memory plus twenty seven two fifty seven point forty twenty seven two fifty seven point forty then annual cash flow annual cash flow. Thirty six six twenty. Thirty six six twenty. Multiply. Twenty six zero seven three. Point forty four. Year four annual cash flow. Annual cash flow. Thirty nine two eighty two. Factor is given. Multiply two four nine double four. 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 Take the total of the last column. I am waiting for your total. Please reply. Please reply. What is the total? One student has replied. Uh, your total is different from my total. Two six eight five zero. Two six eight five zero. Just check your total again. Just check your total again, please. Whose total is right? Your total is right or my total is right? Two six eight five zero is right. Is it positive or negative? Is it positive or negative? 
positive write down the decision since npv of the project is positive since npv of the project is positive we should accept the project we should accept the project since npv is positive we should accept the project assumption write down assumption cost of capital this is important otherwise your answer can be different yes ajit khan you are right 26850 very good assumption write down cost of capital is inclusive of inflation premium cost of capital is inclusive of inflation premium okay any query on this this is question number 8 and you will find that your answer is or your question is very similar determine npv initial outlay annual revenue annual cost useful life all figures are half of the previous question such a creative institute previous question divided by 2 is equal to new question this time they have made it correct annual inflation including inflation premium is given 12% this is the difference homework okay come to question number 9 one more question for the day question number 9 we will solve in the notebook xyz requires rupees 8 lakh for an unit useful life of the project is 4 year salvage value is nil depreciation is 2 lakh expected revenue and cost excluding depreciation and ignoring inflation excluding depreciation and ignoring inflation means these are real these are real cash flow and every year the amount is different cost is also different tax rate is 60% cost of capital 10% and this time they have written it carefully that this is including inflation premium just check the source of this question i think it is study material of the institute current study material i think it is correct current study material after the class you can check and uh, this time the inflation rate is different in different years oh my god you have to be very careful while calculating the revenue for example 6 lakh into 10% is okay but when you go to second year the inflation is 10% in the first year and 9% in the second year so you have to multiply by 1.10 and 1.09 because the effect of inflation is cumulative year 1 year 2 year 3 when you go to third year you have to multiply by this number 8 lakh into 1.10 into 1.09 into 1.08 and when you go to fourth year you have to multiply by this number oh so that is something new that is important question so i'll first compute inflation adjusted revenue this time the question is different because inflation rate is different in different years that is something unique are you ready please solve inflation adjusted revenue three columns three columns first column year second column revenue third column revenue inflation adjusted in rupees revenue inflation adjusted in rupees are you there first i will show you how to do it revenue 6 lakh first year inflation is 10% on revenue into 1.10 6 lakh 60000 second year 7 lakh but the inflation is 10% in first year 9% in second year so you will multiply by 1.10 
into 1.09 effect of inflation is cumulative 839 300 okay 8 lakh into 1.10 into 1.09 into 1.08 please reply 1035 936 last year <coughs> last year <coughs> again 8 lakh 8 lakh into 1.10 <clears throat> into 1.09 into 1.08 into 1.07 please confirm the answer is 11 lakh 8452 11 lakh 8452 11 lakh 8452 in the same way we will calculate for cost also first year cost is 3 lakh in real terms inflation is for cost it is 12 percent for cost the inflation is 12 percent oh my god okay so 12 percent you will add 3 lakh 36 thousand then in the second year the cost is this column should be cost the second column should be cost inflation is 10 percent in the second year so you will take 4 lakh into 1.12 into 1.10 that comes to 492 800 third year again cost is 4 lakh inflation is 9 percent 4 lakh into 1.12 into 1.10 into 1.09 how much is that 537 172 again fourth year cash flow is 4 lakh but the inflation is 8 percent this time so you will take <clears throat> 4 lakh into 1.12 into 1.10 into 1.09 into 1.08 this is my cost now the question is very easy revenue minus cost minus depreciation will give you pbt you will get profit after tax you will get cfat and you can discount it at the nominal discounted given in the question below that write down step number three point number three tax benefit on depreciation tax benefit on depreciation depreciation amount is given to you is 2 lakh depreciation amount is 2 lakh and tax rate is 60 percent tax rate is 60 percent so annual tax saving annual tax saving due to depreciation will be 1 lakh 20 thousand step number 4 write down Profit after tax and CFAT, PAT plus CFAT, PAT and CFAT, PAT and CFAT, PAT and CFAT. Under that, write down year. Then write down revenue, inflation adjusted, revenue, inflation adjusted. Then write down cost, inflation adjusted. Then write down PBT, PBT, this time in order to save time and columns, I will add depreciation tax shield directly uh, in last second last column, that is also ok. PBT PAT, PAT will be 40 percent of PBT because tax rate is 60 percent, 40 percent and on PAT I am going to add tax shield on depreciation tax shield on depreciation 120,000 will be added to the PAT figure to arrive at CFAT and then I will compute the NPV in the last column ready write down first year 1 
revenue go to previous step 1 and step 2 Six lakh sixty thousand, three lakh sixty thirty six thousand. PBT is three lakh twenty four thousand. PAT will be forty percent, one twenty nine six hundred. Plus depreciation tax shield, one lakh twenty thousand. So your CF eighty would be two forty nine six hundred divided by one point ten, divided by one point ten. Two twenty six eight eight six. This is year one. Would you like to try year two yourself? Would you like to try year two yourself? Say yes or no. Yes or no. Year two. Okay. So year two. Previous step one. Revenue. Cost after inflation. PBT. PBT. Pat forty percent. Pat forty percent. Add one lakh twenty thousand for depreciation tax shield. Divide by one point ten equal to equal to two times. Use memory plus also because I have to take total in the last line. <clears throat> year three. Year three. Go to your previous step one and two. Copy. Copy from step one and two. Then PBT. Calculate PBT difference into forty percent. Plus one lakh twenty thousand. Divide by one point ten three times equal to. Three times equal to. So that is two thirty nine nine forty nine. Two thirty nine nine forty nine. Year four. Year four. Copy from step one and two. PBT. Come on, PBT. PBT. Pat into forty percent. Add one lakh twenty thousand. CFAT. CFAT. Divide by one point ten, four times equal to. Presentation has to be very good, so that the reader can understand, the checker can understand, and he can uh, give you full marks. Hence, you have to write all calculations. Please give me the total of the last column. Please give me the total of the last column. I don't have the total of last column. Total of the last column. Anybody here? Total of the last column. Total of the last column. Just check. Is it nine lakh six thousand seven thirty eight? Confirm nine lakh six thousand seven thirty eight. Is it right? Nine lakh six thousand seven thirty eight. Is it right? Okay. Below that, write down. Below that, write NPV equal to NPV equal to nine lakh six thousand seven thirty eight minus eight lakh minus eight lakh minus eight lakh. So that is one lakh six thousand seven thirty eight. One lakh six thousand seven thirty eight. Is the NPV positive? Is the NPV positive? Yes. Advice. Write down. Advice. As the NPV is positive, as the NPV is positive, the project should be accepted. As the NPV is positive, the project should be accepted. The project should be accepted. Same question. Ten number. Homework from your study material. Question number ten. Same to same question. Just read the question. You will understand. Read the question and you will understand. Okay. Any query now? No query. 
this wonderful answer is over so we have conducted this lecture on youtube today and thank you for your response for joining and i am sure you must have got some benefit from this lecture this was the easier part now tomorrow we'll take risk analysis and capital budgeting okay so you must continue with this uh, batch any time you have doubt you can ask me also you can also ask your friends who are in final or maybe i think cma also have the same syllabus they can also join right now we are running a scheme called you can buy the uh, book for 3500 afm or fr and you'll get the video lecture fully free the validity is for 5 years so that's a very important scheme for the student and they should take the maximum benefit of it so even if you are appearing in next 2 year 3 year down the line you can take the lecture because we are giving a validity of 5 years the lectures are currently getting recorded so it is a recent lecture it's not even fully recorded till now more than 70% have got recorded that will get on the google drive and as and when we are going to record you are going to get the uh, lecture further also so please share this video with